Well, hopefully we don't have any weather like that in the near future because I th in a lot of places they're still trying to clean up from the storms we had a few weeks ago. Yeah, and the wind that came through last night was a little disconcerting for some folks because the earlier this month, those storms on August 6th kind of weakened some things. So you're oh, looking up you're going, right. okay, okay, here we go again. Uh, but thankfully, I don't think we have any big wind coming our way anytime soon. As a matter of fact, it's a beautiful evening, albeit a little warm and muggy. We're going to sit here in the 80s for the next couple of hours. Then temperatures drop back, but we're not really going to see the temperatures dive tonight. We are still very much in the thick of things with the humidity, and the humidity kind of has a mitigating effect to the real rise and fall as far as the temperatures go. On the radar, we're dry for the most part, maybe a couple of sprinkles down uh, from northern portions of Richland, County through Ashland and into Wayne counties, but that just so happens to be a, a little bit of a boundary. Watch how all of these uh, returns that are showing up on the radar, which probably aren't even showers. It's more or less just kind of a, a little area where we're seeing some cloud growth uh, and the possibility of some rain showers aloft, sprinkles at the surface, but you can kind of see the movement here from north to south. Well, if you kind of investigate, you dive a little bit deeper, deeper, you start to put a couple pieces together. That is where a front sits right now. And that front is the dividing line between very warm, very humid air and warm, very humid air. So it's not really a significant uh, change in the air mass there, but we do have a wind uh, convergent line and that is probably helping to pop those clouds and the sprinkle chances up. So it is 95 right now, very much feeling tropical Dover, uh, upper 70s closer to the lake shore, that lake influence helping to cool things off there. But all of us have been dealing with this extreme heat, extreme humidity, the bulk of which has begun to shift a little bit farther to the south. So you can see Columbia is sitting at 96 right now. Farther north, 70 degrees in Traverse City, 66 in Duluth. So we know that there's some cool air and that it is close by. We had that boundary that dropped in, but unfortunately, that's the best it's going to do. And by the time we hit Friday, all of it's going to be pushed back to the north and we will open up the gates to that warm, humid air here. Once again, the hot, humid air. So a few shower and thunderstorm chances remain farther south this afternoon. And we've been watching a cluster of thunderstorms coming across uh, southern Michigan uh, this evening. Not sure that's going to make the lake, but we said that last night too, and it certainly did. So uh, we'll be keeping a close eye on that throughout the rest of the evening. The bigger story is this little swirl that's sitting out here in the northwestern part of the country because that's the game changer. That will be the difference maker. And as that storm system moves east tomorrow evening at this time, we'll have a big line of thunderstorms in the plain states that will continue to move eastward. And by Friday at 6 p.m., we'll have some shower and thunderstorm chances knocking on our western door. So late Friday, we have the rain chances ramping up, thunderstorm chances ramping up, and it's not until Saturday that those chances begin begin to clear the area throughout the afternoon hours and Sunday is when we're really expecting comfortable air to begin to move in. And when I say that storm system is a difference maker, I am meaning big time difference maker. We're going to go from all ultra muggy conditions to super comfortable conditions by Tuesday. What's new in the forecast? Just some fog for tomorrow morning, not expected to be a big problem. And as far as the rain chances for Friday and Saturday is because that front is delayed just a little bit. So we do have some fog in tonight's forecast with the upper 60s. That's where we'll start your day tomorrow with your National Design Mar hour by hour forecast. And the temperatures are going to make it into the low 80s. We may have a pop up shower or storm chance as our entire uh, heat begins uh, the, all the heat in the southern part of the state begins to move back to the north and that will push our temperatures back into the low 90s with ultra muggy conditions. Friday night storms lingering into much of Saturday now, even into the afternoon in your union home mortgage forecast. Then here comes the relief, partly cloudy, beautiful conditions on Sunday, Labor Day, low 70s and sunshine. Don't forget, you're gonna need the sunscreen, but man, I don't think you're gonna need to cool off too much.